I got this ARDX uh, starter kit for Arduino at Radio Shack and I picked up the Arduino Uno also at Radio Shack uh, for $29.99 uh, and the ARDX was I believe $49.99 anyway I think you can get it cheaper elsewhere but I was there and I saw it and I, I liked it and it had some parts I needed but I wanted to just go through the basics of it you know what comes with it and some things that I found out help you identify some of the parts so this is the breadboard they give you a breadboard and they give you this like acrylic board to stick that to and to stick your Arduino to and these little plastic rivets and those are kind of cool the way they work they're really easy to use just you know stick them through um, on my Arduino there were some long connectors underneath this power thing and underneath the USB plug and they were preventing me from being able to stick the board to the acrylic thing so I had to kind of file those down and bend these but yeah make sure that you don't bend your Arduino board when you stick it on here if you do that you don't have to do this but I thought it would be fun so and here's the this is the breadboard then that you get um, stuck on there with double sided tape uh, and I use some headers to stick the overlay on there from the first project um, and one thing I noticed is the overlay doesn't really line up with the breadboard exactly right it's off far enough that you might you might end up sticking something in the wrong hole I and mean, if you look this if you look at this the column is almost almost completely off so you could easily end up thinking that you were going into this row over here and end up over here and that would uh, reverse the polarity which is never good so be careful of that if you decide to use these overlays. I think the overlays are nice, but they're not exactly printed perfectly. Now, in the kit, you get a book which tells, goes through basically, okay, how to set up the breadboard and stuff. Um, we've got some instructions for installing the programming environment on your computer whether you have Windows or a Mac um, a little bit of information about programming in general just kind of some basic programming information Arduino programming in brief structure syntax a little bit about variables and stuff You can read that and then it goes through what each of the parts are so when you get your kit go through this and see if you can find all of these different parts and I'm gonna show you they're not that hard to identify but some of them may be tricky and then it gets right into the uh, experimentation with the board so getting started make a blinking LED that's the hello world of microcontrollers so that's a good place to get started I think and goes on up to controlling eight LEDs at once so there's a lot of fun experiments with the motor and everything that servos you can mess with all this stuff in here and this will really give you an introduction to a lot of the stuff that you might use in your own projects especially things like you know buttons using a button it isn't straight up there's some things that you need to know about wiring up buttons correctly and how to program against them so good idea to go through all this stuff uh, but basically yeah there's an experiment for every part that you get
Here's the, this was the bag that those plastic rivets came in and the tape and stuff for the um, for the breadboard. But here's the breakaway headers. On these, um, I would advise, you know, don't break them up until you're absolutely ready to use them because you might want to take a row and, and have them all stuck together. Um, and the best way to do these is not with your fingers. Go ahead and get some needle nose pliers, grab it from, from this side and just put it right up against the edge and pull on the long side and they usually break just fine. But yeah, if you try to do them with your fingers, sometimes you get the wrong spot. Most of the stuff in the kit is labeled, so, you know, 560 ohm resistors. There's a bunch of resistors. Um, 2.2K ohm, that's, that's 2200. 10K ohm, so 10,000. Those would be good for like pull ups and pull downs for your switches. Um, here's some P2N 2222As. These are uh, transistors. Very simple to use, very common. So here's your TMP36. That's a temperature sensor. This is your battery for your 9 volt battery and there's one of your capacitors in there and there is also one of your diodes in there and this is your photo sensor, light sensor. Oh, and your vibration sensor is also in there. That's the long piece right there. Nice bag of LEDs here. You got different sizes, different colors. Uh, this big one here with the extra leads on it is your RGB LED that can light up any color you need it to. Uh, you get a bunch of jumper wires. This is one of the parts that I needed actually um, that I had gone to Radio Shack for originally. Was some of these convenient jumper wires. Um, these are male to male jumper wires. You get a ton of them. And these you'll use to hook up your breadboard. So you just get a ton of these. And use them one at a time. I don't think you're anywhere near using them all. A uh, little servo. This looks like any old RC servo. Um, doesn't have a brand name on it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I've got a ton of RC servos around here, but this is just basic servo. It's got some different horns on it. Servos always come with a bunch of these different things that you can use to make your lever arms. Motor. That's your motor. And this is real handy. They gave you breadboard plugs for the motor. Now this little assortment here is, this is your relay this big box looking thing <laughs> to relay those are the two momentary push buttons and these are the same push buttons that are on my KK board I believe so very handy uh, potentiometer this little thing here this is basically a like a piezoelectric buzzer uh, if you send the right pulses to this it it'll make clicks and it can make sounds and stuff. It's, it's like a crap quality speaker. And this little deal right here, it's labeled as integrated circuit in the parts list, but this is a um, shift register, I believe. And there's one of the experiments in the book shows you how to use this. Yeah, it's a 74 HC 595 shift register so you can use this to control basically you can control more things than you have inputs for on the Arduino by talking to this chip and having it control the items that are connected to it so very handy and a very good introduction to using integrated circuits and other chips with your Arduino And then here's the breadboard templates. 
these, like I said, they're not printed exactly straight, so careful how you use these. I'm not going to use them. Um, I can follow breadboard instructions just fine, so I'm not going to use these, but um, they would be handy if they fit perfectly. So the last thing in the kit is this USB cable. Um, these can be kind of expensive, so it's handy they give you this. I actually didn't have one of these like this, so I'm glad I got it because the Uno does need that kind of plug. It was pretty easy to set up the first little experiment in this. This is basically Hello World for microcontrollers. See if we can blink an LED. Um, so I like to use yellow for signal wires. That isn't what they show on the template. But I used yellow for my signal and red and black for my power and ground. Then I went and got a Duracell and I'm using the little battery strap to power it up. And I already programmed it. So when it starts up there, there's the... Now this is actually the blink without delay program. Uh, as somebody else pointed out on the forums, I think the regular blink program kind of sends you down the wrong path. Um, so I put blink without delay on there. Same wiring as the uh, basic Hello World experiment. But yeah, that works nicely. So I'm off and running. So overall, I think this is a pretty good kit. Um, I think that if you want to get started with Arduino, you know, if you have a complicated project in mind or something, even if you don't think you're going to need these sensors and stuff, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and get one of these kits and play around with all the different stuff. There are a lot of little details that you're going to learn along the way. Um, things like, why do you need to use a resistor with a button? You know, if you don't know the answer to that, I suggest you go through the experiments in this kit and see what you can learn. Um, this is a pretty good value. Like I said, I think you can get it for around 40 bucks. And there is another kit that comes with the Arduino Uno. And it is $69.99. I think that's a pretty good deal with the Uno along with it. So yeah, if you're interested in starting out with this stuff, this would be a good way to go. Thanks for watching.